Okay, everyone, sorry for that bit of fuckness at the end of the last video, but no more interruptions, no more falling into pits. We are getting to the Queen Metroid this video. This run ends here. This might be a bit longer than my normal LP video, I like to do in 15 minute chunks, but it could take as much as 20 getting through all the shit and, and the ending and all that, but we're doing it. I'm not breaking it up. We're here, now, so... Don't want to fall in that shit again. Space jump all the way over that shit. Final save point, which I wanted to reach in the last video, but uh, what can you do? First, you want to go up the right side, because that has your energy and missile refills. Ah, shit. Too far right. This is where I need to be. Get up there, Samus. Full power, full missiles. Just what I want to see. Now let's go get the ice beam. This is conveniently left here for us. And then you're thinking, oh man, what the fuck ripped apart this statue? What could have done that? These Jozo statues were supposed to be real durable, right? Well, we're about to find out. Now the left one takes you into the Queen's Lair, where you face her little minions. As if the music didn't clue you in already. You know, this kind of looks like shit you saw in Kraid's Lair, and it's like, this clues you in that we're really getting to the heart of the facility. And, oh, what's that thing up there? Never mind that, our Metroid meter just jumped up again. And it doesn't really tell you how much is needed to trigger a quake or anything, because that shit's done. Okay, one down. That was the only one in this chamber, so we don't have to worry. The next one's down there. Come on. Oops, waste the missile. No big deal. Six more. And again, we got one just lollygagging down there. Three. Just jump. Trigger to come down. Ah, shit balls. That wasn't too bad. Okay, I think the fifth one comes right away. Yeah. And this was a pain in another Metroid 2 remake, because it had a holdover from Other M. Okay, think of all the things that you hated from Other M. What do you think would be bad to hear? Well, it's not what you think. It's frozen enemies just dropping to the ground. And that can be a bit of a pain when trying to deal with these Metroids. Of all the things from Other M that piss people off, you wouldn't think that resurfacing would be a big deal, but... Okay, one more. And there he is. There it is. These things have no genders, but what's coming up... Ooh, baby. Oh! Oh, listen to that. Oh, we're about to get into some deep shit. Here we go! The big mama Metroid herself! 
And say what you will about other M, it was great to have this bitch back. And oh man, her little minions, the way they came after you. Oh man, that game put the fear of Metroids back into you. I mean, the Prime games, it's like, yeah, yeah, they ain't that big a deal. But then, those little babies come after you, and the fight with Queen Metroid is like, Ah, oh, shit, get him off me, get him off me! So, Other M did some things right. Anyway, just shove these things right down her throat. And that sounded incredibly suggestive. And another little t subtle touch with this game. Her screams change pitch the more she takes damage, so it gets angrier and more shrill. Ow! Shouldn't be long now. Got her! Zero, zero. Just like the amount of casualties the Terminator inflicted that year. Zero, zero, point zero, whatever the fuck that meant. And, oh yeah, we got ourselves a little baby Metroid, oh, isn't he sweet? And then comes into a tragic end in the next game. I mean, yeah, the ending of Super Metroid and the dubiousness of if Link did the right thing by waking up the Windfish in Zelda Link's Awakening. Some people saying that only now, like with Fire Emblem getting super popular and shit, that Nintendo's going for like a bit of darkness in the games. Like bullshit. Metro Super Metroid and Link's Awakening had endings of that weren't exactly happy. Just saying. Just saying. Time. Oh, this is gonna be under 15 minutes after all. Yeah, I'm just that good. Wasted the queen. See if I can land in the. Nope. Oh well. Alright. Just sit back and watch Samus doing some cardio, listen to some funky music, and wait to see what my time was. Gunpei Yokoi, we tragically lost him over two decades ago. <sighs> ah, the good old Game Boy. I mean, it seems so primitive now, now that we got cell phones, you can play Super Mario Brothers and Fire Emblem on that with the, the mobile versions, and a whole bunch of other stuff. You got Sonic for mobile, you got Final Fantasy for mobile, but still, I like to think back to when all we had was the Game Boy, and you had these cards you put in, and it's like that little green screen with four shades of gray. Seems for of now, but back then it was a window into another world, and you had to use your imagination. What were these worlds like? The, the training pit had to do in that Kid Icarus sequel. Going to the home world of the Metroids in this game, or Sarasa Land in Super Mario Land, or Kahlin Island in Zelda. It just... <sighs> you had to use your imagination, you had to just roll with it, and... I feel privileged to have been a part of that time, to be able to get a Game Boy when I did, and play through some of these. <sighs> Presented by Nintendo. Alright, here we come, Samus. Alright, Samus, come on. Take it off, take it off. Let's see what you got. And my time? Oh! I was hoping to get it just under two hours. Oh well. I still get the good ending. See Samus showing off some skin. So yeah. Took me nine parts to get through 
Metroid 2 in like 15 minute chunks or less. And what's this video at? Just under 10 minutes. Okay. Okay, stick around. If everything goes as planned, I'm putting this up around the same time I'm doing an East 1 and 2 run for the TurboGrafx CD. I should have another Game Boy game after this. Might be, I don't know, Mario Land again. Might be something else. See you then.